bad moment. No, you're all right. Sorry, the rubbish. Well, compared to them anyway, but I didn't know what to bring. What did we daft? Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I also came to say sorry about Kane. He had no right saying that stuff. Well, you're the last person that should be saying sorry for him. Yeah, I know, but still, bang out of order. But if there's any consolation, he saves the cruelest stuff for those he loves most. They must really love you, then. <laughs> yeah, right. Always an exception to the rule, isn't there? It's funny, I, I keep imagining what John would think if he could see what I've been like this last year. He would see a woman who really loved him trying to get on with her life. Maybe, or, or he'd think that Keane had it about right. Fancy a cuppa? Hello? If though, we've got to be at the farm in an hour. Oh, give us a chance. Still breaking these heels in. <sighs> you know what, it'd be easy if we're not a better. I like the older woman, do you? Well, at least she's not wound the miles back on the clock. Oi, cheeky beggar. Hi. Just come in a sec. Ah, oh, you're here. Yeah, I do kind of live here. Hey, all right, sweetheart. I couldn't keep away from you, Auntie Kerry. Nothing up, is it? No, I just need to have the kids for a bit while I get some stuff sorted at work. But Debbie, we've been through this. I can't keep missing shifts at the farm. Look, I can have them if you're desperate. Not that much. Oh, how are you, man, Debbie? I made one mistake. Yep, and it'll be your last. Look, I'll ask Lisa. Come on. All right, at least let Sarah come back later when Andy is here. We can watch America's Next Top Model and see if I'm on it. Am I allowed? We could have a sleepover. Paint your nails. OK, well, I'll let you know later. Till later, then. Come on. Just keep walking. No, not this time. Hey! You just couldn't help yourself, could you? Couldn't have more for yourself, so you thought you'd ruin her chances with anyone else. I said what everyone else was thinking. I don't you think that, that would have suffered enough without you punishing her? It's not helping, Chess. Why don't you listen to your little boyfriend? Yeah? Or maybe he should have finished you off while he had the chance. Put us all out of our misery. Well, by the time I finish with you, you're going to wish he had. You don't scare me. I'm not going to let you destroy everything that's decent. The only person I'm going to destroy is you. You're wrong. You always hear about that then, won't we? What are you doing hanging around here? Just talking. To them. Have you got a problem with that? And what if I did? Come on. Let's get out of here. Where are you going? Hold on, we'll come with you. Some other time, yeah? What did you do that for? Please tell me you're not tarted up like that for them. Just me. Oh, and you really think that's all they want? Not this again. You're not my mum, OK? Excuse me, I'm trying to look out for you. No, you're not. You're just jealous because you couldn't keep hold of your boyfriend. <laughs> come on. Belle? It's not easy, you know, meeting someone new when you're a single dad. I mean, how often does someone really beautiful come strolling in the cafe? Well, I wouldn't let Brenda hear you say that. No, oh, Brenda's different. <laughs> oh, yes. No, oh, no, I mean, she's a mate, she's a mate. Yeah, it's mm. not the same. <laughs> Have you actually heard yourself? You want a bird, go and get one off the streets. She could probably sort you out with a few numbers. OK, what are you having? Right, so I'm a sad sap, am I? Don't see you having much success with women. Come again. Yeah, I mean, sure you can pull them. You're not that clever at keeping them, are you? Do you want to say that outside? All right, so you think pummeling his brains out is going to make you feel more of a man, do you? Yes, I do. That's enough. For pity's sake, leave it. Well, you fancy your chances again, do you? Seriously, you don't want to go there. Don't you dare do this! Just because Moira is sick of how twisted you are does not give you the right to take it out on everyone else. We're going to have a nice little chat, you and me. Kind of like our own little happy hour. Sorry, but I only drink with people I can stomach the sight of. Oh, so help me God, we're going to have this out once and for all. Just go away. No! You are not coming in here night after night taking your spiteful little jealousies out on everyone. Jealousies? Yes, Kane. That's what they are. Because everyone's always wronged you, haven't they? Shall we take this through the back? I'm going nowhere with her. Fine. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to ask you all to leave. What are you doing? Yeah, what's going on? I'm going to have a nice little lock-in. 
Just me and him. What, are you going to chuck everyone out for me? Or haven't you got the balls to face me, Kane? Are you scared that you might hear something that you don't like? Fine. Fine. Outside, no. No? Yes. No, this is between me and him. False alarm, everyone! As you were. So, come on. Let's hear it. I assume that's why you're here, so you can give me your whiny little excuses again. You know what? I'm sick of hearing them myself. Doesn't matter what I say, it's never going to make any difference, is it? Well, at least we agree on something. Yeah. I betrayed Debbie. But I will never, ever forgive myself. Oh, here we go again. But you know what? At least I did it out of love. Yeah, well, while you were busy loving him, Sarah nearly died. Did you ever stop and think about that? OK. What about you? Mm. Sleeping with Moira. Got a kick out of that, did you? Sending John to an early grave. He wasn't family. Oh, right, so you didn't sleep with Debbie's girlfriend, get her pregnant and make her have an abortion. And then get Amy to give away your own child. Don't you stand there and talk to me about a family. You don't even know the word. I paid for my mistake. And I haven't! No, not one bit. I stood by you after everything. Why? Because you are my brother. Don't you call me that because you mean nothing to me. My only regret is it that it wasn't you that died instead of Carl. You don't mean that. Don't I? They used to burn people like you. Whores and witches. But you know what? That's too good for you. Because I won't even spit on your grave. I know you still love me. Did you not hear what I just said? Yes, I heard it. And you can be as vile and vindictive as you want, but I will never, ever stop loving you. More for you, then. Please, Kane. I'm not asking you to forgive me. I know, I know I don't deserve that, but all I'm asking for is my brother back. And I know deep down that is what you want as well. You're wrong. We're too alike, me and you. That has got to count for something. 